Hi, I'm Raul. Welcome to OpenLP Guru, a set of video tutorials where I take you through how to use OpenLP's features. In today's episode, we'll be looking at creating themes in OpenLP for customizing how songs, Bible verses, and custom slides appear when projected. As I mentioned in my last video, my dark color scheme is from my operating system, not OpenLP. I use the KDE Plasma 5 desktop on Debian Unstable Linux, and I have it configured to use the Breeze Dark theme. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link down below in the video description. OpenLP gathers together all the configuration needed for displaying a song, like the background or a font, into a theme. This makes sure that you get a consistent visual experience every single time, in every single verse, in every single song. Themes extend to Bibles and custom slides too, so that again, you get a consistent visual experience for every item you display in your projector. To create a new theme, click on the Create Theme button in the Theme Manager. This will open the Theme Wizard. Click on the Next button to start the process of creating a theme. On the first page, select a type of background for your theme. You can select options like a solid color, a gradient, or an image. Please note that in versions of OpenLP before version 3, there are no options for background video. Here I am using OpenLP version 2.4.6 since it is currently the most widely used version of OpenLP. Let's select the image type from the drop-down. With the image type selected, you'll be able to select an image using the Browse button. Click the Next button to continue. The next step of the wizard contains the settings for the main text display area. You can select a font, a color, whether the text should be bold or italic, the size, line spacing, and even set up an outline and a shadow for the words on the screen. Once you've selected your main text display settings, click the Next button. On the following step, you'll be able to select the details for the footer of the slides. Select a font, color, and the size of the text. You probably don't want to make it much larger than about 20 point. Click the Next button once you've selected your options. On this next step, you'll be able to select the alignment of your text, both vertically and horizontally. In older versions of OpenLP, there was an experimental transitions option, but in newer versions, there is an expanded section for selecting transitions between slides. Lastly, there's a section for selecting where the two text areas should appear on the theme. This can be useful if your displayable area is restricted, but not by your projector. In most cases, you can probably simply leave these settings as they are. Finally, you'll be given a preview of your theme and you'll be able to enter a name for the theme. Click Finish to save your theme. Once your theme has been saved, you can double click on the theme in the Theme Manager to set it as the default theme in OpenLP or select the theme from the drop-down in the service if you have service level themes selected. If you need to go back and edit a theme, this is a pretty simple thing to do. Select the theme in the manager that you want to edit and click the Edit Theme button above the list. Alternatively, right-click the theme and select the Edit Theme option from the context menu. This will open the theme wizard again and allow you to edit whichever setting you want. Click through the wizard to finish editing the theme and click the finish button to save your changes. Click the cancel button at any time to discard any edits you have made. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll be looking at displaying alerts and automatically tracking song usage, which can be used for copyright license reporting. If you like this video and want to see more, please click the subscribe button below the video and click the bell icon to be notified of when I next post a video. Goodbye and God bless.